Congratulations on the purchase of your new Model 92 mulch layer from Mechanical Transplanter. Um, yours is going to be a little, little shinier and a little cleaner than this one. This is uh, one of our original prototypes. But I'm going to show you today how to make adjustments and fine tune and set it up initially for the field. First thing we want to do is make sure that the toolbar is level right to left. You'll see this side is a little low. So I'll make an adjustment over here and we'll get it straight. Straighten it up until it's level. Then the next thing we're going to do is start the tractor up, pull it in the dirt, and check on a couple other things before we initially try to set up a bed. But first, I'm going to show you how to load film because that's what we're here to do. Yep. The film, the roll of film rolls the opposite direction of the tractor tire, comes off from the roll around the big roller and out the bottom and when the roll is in the um, lowered position the uh, plastic film is trapped between the big roller and these metal rod tails on the bottom of the wings so pulling back the locking mechanism dump your roll into the roller assembly and with it in the raised position end of your film around the big roller nice and even leave a little bit hanging out <coughs> set the rollers back on the tails <coughs> now the roller is locked and that prevents the plastic from blowing or unrolling in a windy day so we're going to start the tractor up and check on another adjustment or two before we go further. We need to pull the machine down into the soil to initially start forming a bed. Now as you see, we started to form the bed. We're starting to cover with some, some soil to keep the plastic from blowing away. We need to establish approximately a 5 16 to 3 8 inch gap between the red clamp and the trapezoid on the green side arms. This is just a little bit shy, so we're gonna lengthen the third arm just a little bit to rock the pan back and establish a wider gap. When you have approximately a 5 16 to 3 8 inch gap, lock your third arm in place and let's see what we got. Our smooth wheels are holding the film down properly, but we're not getting any coverage on one side. So I'm going to need to, or actually both sides, I'm going to lower the uh, disc assemblies just a little bit. Most adjustments on this machine can be made with a half inch wrench or a three quarter inch wrench for a half inch fastener. The amount of soil being brought in can be adjusted both by angle and or how deep they run. We don't want the angle so great that it actually rolls the film up. We want to put the dirt in this little pocket that's been created. a little dry here today so we might not end up with like crisp clean defined bed edge because it's crumbly and wants to roll down let's 
give it another try. Our right side is still not covering properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the angle of my, my disc assembly here slightly to, to bring in more soil. That's made with a three quarter inch wrench on these half inch fasteners. And you can see that the, the soil that we're on is at a little bit of an angle, and that's why we're the bed is not perfectly flat, but we do have coverage of dirt on both sides to hold the film down. The bed is nice and full and complete, and if we can get a view of the front, actually see that there's some soil boiling up in the front where it's gathering it in, making sure that the bed is nice and full. Tillage depth should be approximately six to six and a half inches deep to make sure that there's plenty of soil for the machine to work with. The gap is maintained on both sides so the arms can float up and down following the terrain, making sure that the, the smooth wheels hold the film down on the back. If you want your film tighter, we can camber these just a little bit, or caster rather. We can caster these just a little bit to pull tighter, or you can loosen it up and have it be not quite so taut. It is a high speed machine. Uh, as you see, I was in second gear, high range. You can truck right along with it. It's quite a fast machine. We'll get to the end, and then I'll stop. I'll make one more pass on the way back.